What's going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on today's video. We had a little bit of a problem today. So we had a goat by the name of L. Um, let me turn around and uh, pan in and zoom in on him real quick. For those of you that do not know who L is, he has been our main breeder buck for the last two seasons here on the farm. He's a Kiko buck. He's about three years old now, maybe a little older. But uh, we had the goats and the dogs all in here because we're trying to train the new puppy, Cora. Well, as you can see, there's not a lot of grass over there. That's, it's all eaten down. There's not a lot of foliage on the trees yet. So what the goats have been doing, they go up to the fence around the woods, around the perimeter of our fencing, and they lean over and they eat the foliage off the trees. Well, Mr. L figured how big he was when he put all his weight up on the fence and reaching over he figured out he could just hop right over well he's been doing that for the past couple days <clears throat> so rachel and i spent a few hours this afternoon chasing him and everything else and finally got him back into the yard and i said i think it's just time to uh open up the main yard i see leesky's over there doing his check so yeah the dog's over here now Not the compost pile, right there on top of it. You can see Leesky's over there checking out them other dogs. Well, he hears dogs down the neighborhood. But he's over there checking, and then I'll paint around over here. And there's Miss Cora. I don't know what she's doing. So anyways, Leesky's coming now. So anyways, I'm gonna play some footage that Rachel recorded with her phone earlier. And uh, that is when we first let the goats and the dogs out into the big pasture. It's probably good they're not interested yet. The ducks are glad to be back in the barn. Yeah. You eating grass too? Or are you a goat, Cora? She said, I'm just doing what they're doing. Open the gate and the goats act like it was a buffet. They're very quiet. <laughs> you know it? They're not hollering for us to feed them grain. That's good. Leesky's doing his job, marking his territory. The ducks are in the creep feeder. <laughs> they said, that's new. Leesky, you eating grass too, buddy? They said, I were just a goat. Right, yes, we know that that's something that their dogs do. So who was the culprit for this move? Yeah. That ornery little buck. <clears throat> I remember, you know, back last year, Living Traditions asked us, how do we keep your goats in? <laughs> Because a lot of people have problems with them getting out, right? Yeah. And when they get hungry, they'll do anything. I the green grass encourages them to jump fences sometimes, and the and like the foliage on the trees. They, I, reach, they start reaching over the fence to eat the leaves on the other side of the fence, and then they realize how big they are, and they can just jump over. That's what happened in this case. So I think my answer for living traditions last year, Kevin and Sarah was, well, I think you just have to be patient and see which goat is the culprit for jumping out because the other ones will learn to jump out from whoever's doing it. So that means you have to call the ones that like to jump fences. So <laughs> this is their first day on the big field. 
There's Leesky and Cora way down there. I can't zoom in far enough. She's staying right with him. And he's waiting on her. <laughs> They're way back there. That's so cute. He's done a really good job with her. There they go. I think he's going to find some sticks is what I think. All the goats have mouth full of grass. They are going to town. And the ducks are still in the barn. I hear them. The dogs are not interested in the ducks at all yet. That's a good thing. Hopefully they got enough to keep them busy over here where they don't mess with the ducks. What the heck? What'd find? I guess that I wasn't wasn't fibbing. This was the one that we caught in the lake and turned it loose. And then it died. I don't know why. Kai said there was a skeleton over I here. Don't want him chewing on this. Yeah, we don't want to get the last thing we need. We don't want them to get like bones, bones lodged or he said, Dad, but I found it. Look at his face. I know. Someone's already been <laughs> chewing on it. <laughs> He's like, are you going to let me have it? Look that, at his that, face. That'll hurt you, Bubba. Good job. I'm glad I come over here with you. There's more to explore. Go find a rat or something. How about that? A rat. He said, that's what the cats are for. Here she comes. We weren't really planning on doing a video. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes these are my favorite. Like, yeah, I'm not even wearing a hat. You're not. I wasn't gonna point it out. People's gonna make fun of my bald spot. Yeah. Or it's not a bald spot, but a thinning of my hair. I could care less. It's summertime. It's time for a buzz cut, anyways, right? No. Yeah. No. So yes, yesterday. I filled the blackberry beds up, and while I had the tractor out here getting compost, I went ahead and mixed all that up. And that is some good compost in the middle of that pile there. Oh, I found some new grass. They're loving it. No more grain Look feed. Over here in the middle, where we had our burn pile a couple years ago, you can see all that clover, where it's dark green right there. That's that's a good right food for goats. There. It's a legume with a lot of protein for these goats. And the best part about turning them loose like this, we got all this wild grass, native grass, is now we don't have to feed them grain anymore. Yep. I don't know what killed this catfish. No telling. We've had, could be something that's landed on the pond. I on them herrings. Maybe, oh, at at the pond now. I'm going to go ahead and get in now. Look at him. He is getting in. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look, he is like laying in it. Of course, he'll get up when I get over there. Never fails. Yeah, he got up. <laughs> oh, the whiskey. Baba. Or it's like, oh, what is that? It's a rock. It's a new rock I can come lay on. It's not as flat. Her and Leesky love that other rock. Oh, 
Okay, so we've got the pond over there, but we always give them fresh water, so we've got to wash this out. It's been setting all winter, so we're going to wash it out. And then, what's that called? Um, automatic float valve. An automatic float valve. It is awesome. You don't have to worry about filling their water up with clean water. You just when it gets to a certain point low, the little valve drops down and it automatically kicks this on, opens up and fills up with fresh clean water until the water level hits a certain spot and it lifts that little float up and then it closes the valve. Yep. Can you get those on Amazon? Yep. I'll have Kevin put a link in the description because they, it's, a lot of time. it's awesome. And we like time savers here. So I'm going to get this cleaned out. So we just turned on the water and look who heard the water come on. <laughs> the boys. The quack fat. <laughs> they said hey man that's not nice okay so I'm going to take this away from her because I don't know if that's going to make her sick and there's a red wasp and I'm afraid it's going to get me <laughs> oh don't don't Cora oh gosh that's disgusting Oh, I'm going to go throw it somewhere. Oh, gosh. Look at the compost pile. I think I'm going to throw it in there. That's so rotten. I'm going to cover it up. Oh my gosh, that stinks so bad. I don't know if that's going to make her sick. So that's why I took it away. Plus, it's rank. Well, that was a good find, sissy, if that would have been a good egg. <laughs> Lisey loves this pond. He just got out of it again. He was in it. Laying down. I don't know if I even caught it on video. Are you taking a swim? Are you taking a dip? Huh? Are you taking a dip? <laughs> I love watching the ducks on the pond. They're so fun to watch. Leesky, Cora found a rotten egg. It's disgusting.
Tell her to take a bath. <laughs> Tell her to take a bath. She stinks. This is pure peace for me. And I apologize if the footage isn't real clear. This is on my cell phone. Uh, yeah, look what Cora found. She found the other part of that skeleton. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get that from her. Cora, you're finding all kinds of treasures out here. That's another catfish. Well, <laughs> let me have that. She's like, this is no fun. Everything I find, you take away. Gross. Look at that. Sorry, Cora. At least he smells that rotten egg I threw in there. Look at him. I even covered it with dirt, and it is so rank. Like, I can smell it from here. You guys. I guess I shouldn't have threw it in there. Guys, I buried that for a reason. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Well, look, he's gonna pee on it. <laughs> Shoo! What'd he find? I didn't put anything over there. What is it? What'd you find in there? I don't see nothing. Oh my gosh. I can't handle that stink. <coughs> Literally, it's making me gag. Ugh. Lisky, get away from that. There goes Cora. Please don't eat that rotten egg. Whoop. Skeeter's out. They love Skeeter. <laughs> what is it? Go show off to Skeeter. Show him your new field. Show him your new field, Cora. Good girl. There's already tons of flies where that rotten egg was. Well, the water was clean. <laughs> He's been in the pond. He's trying out all the, all the water. You taking a bath, boy, or what? I see you. <laughs> He's like, you filled this up for me, right? Look at him. As long as he don't chew the float valve up. He might. This is the first time he's ever seen those goats over there. Oh, really? That's right. Because he can't see them from down the hill. Now he's... Cora's right there sitting. Hey, he's going to check them out. Hey, wait, there's more goats up here? He knows they're here because he can hear them strong, but he's never been able to see them. Cora's tired. She says, Lisky, it's hard for me to keep up with your long legs. I'm short right now. Get that spider off me, William. Thank you. He's like, I'm going to mark that spot. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Chorus waiting back here patiently. The ducks are still at. Oh, yeah, look. Look at them looking at them. They don't know what to think. Look at the goats are coming over here to check him out. They're like, what is that? What is it, Cora? Oh, she's going to bark. What is it? So the ducks, the ducks just now got up on the bank and there goes Cora. She's like, what in the world is that? She wasn't really chasing them. Say a little prayer that they leave the ducks alone. Leesky! Cora girl! Leesky! Cora girl! Oh, they're, all, they're both coming. Well, you called? <laughs> well, that's good. Leesky! Cora girl! Alright, so we're not going to leave them out here all night unattended because they are in the big field. This is their first time in the big field today. And they're still pups. He's a pup and uh, she's really just a pup. So we don't want them to have to cover all this territory tonight. We're going to leave the... Uh, she the... smells like rotten egg. Oh yeah, she found a rotten goose egg earlier, Rachel said. Yes, she did. Did you get that on camera? Yes. Well, they just seen it then. Of course, they can hide a skeeter. So we're going to get these goats back in the barn. That's what I was coming out here to do, but I didn't think about it. I started yelling and... Uh... They come to check it out. Oh, hi, right, Cora. What are you doing, pretty girl? You guys enjoying your freedom in the big field? I know the goats are. The goats. Tell them your story about feeding the goats. I may have showed them. I don't know. Anyway. No, I don't think you did. I don't. When you brought the oh. bucket out a while ago. Leesky. No, I didn't show any feeding. I went to feed and normally. You fed the dogs. Yes, I fed the dogs. And the dogs. Usually, if they hear me open the gate to go feed the dogs, they all run in the barn and you can hear them. Oh, they know what the goats do when I walk in the door You can the hear them hitting on the, the feed trough and they're like freaking out in there. Anyway, so I didn't see any of the goats at all when I fed the dogs. And they did go in the barn, but they were real quiet and I'm like, what's going on? So I come around here and look and they're all sound asleep. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting their bellies full is what the deal is. Look how big she is. Yeah, I know. Oh, her's a stinky girl. Her's need, a stinky girl. They were playing in the pond earlier. Stinky girl. She needs to take a mouthwash. So Rachel filled up their mineral all ago, and she noticed that they had some ticks and flies on them, so we're going to go ahead and give them the uh, Redmond garlic and just watch the dogs make sure they don't eat a large amount. But you can see the some of the kids are in here chewing on some. That good stuff. You can smell it. As soon as I walk in the barn, I can smell it. Yeah, how about you go eat some of that to coat your breath? She's wanting to play now. Well, so far so good. Um, the ducks are over on the pond. Leesky hasn't been bothering them yet. Or Cora. You guys been sharing the pond with the ducks, huh? Hmm? Don't get that stinky geese egg on me. Yuck. Yuck. Shoo, I can smell it. Leesky's doing his patrol. 
And I guess the goats are going out for their uh, fourth snack today. They're all out going browsing. L, the one that kept jumping over the fence, he is leading the pack looking for a nice little treat in a tree. He loves eating those leaves. That's the whole reason he jumped out of the pen. Now he's scratching his back on a tree. So a lot of people always ask is how do you keep your goats in? Well, the main thing about goats is as long as they got enough area. Whoop. What's wrong? There was a tick. Well, they're much, she's going to have ticks on her, but yeah. if they bite her, then yeah. they'll die. Um, no, I was, I don't know if I mentioned, ooh, stop licking me, you stink. <laughs> so anyways, like I was saying, a lot of people ask us how we keep our goats in. And the key is to keep them fed. If a, if a goat gets hungry, just like any other animal, if they get hungry and they look on the other side of the fence and they see there's a delicious salad sitting there in a tree, they're very athletic. They can jump this fence super easy. They just don't always know that they can do it. You can too? She said, I can jump, look at me. She said, I just want my belly rubbed. Nope, she got a tick on her. So we did give them the Brevecto. They have the tick medicine and uh, they will get ticks on them. Um, but when the ticks bite them, they just die. They don't have time to put the bad enzymes in them. They just got these ticks today. There was not any ticks over there. Right. And then when we come out over here, I picked two or three off of me. I seen a couple Tick picker. just on her, like on her coat. And then I seen Leesky had some crawling on him and some of the goats had uh, some ticks. So I went yep. and got the garlic mineral and put out right away. Yep, it'll take a little bit for that to start working, but it'll definitely work. But you can see why we got the ticks. And in the past couple weeks, we've had a family of deer that has been coming on this side of the po property and uh, kind of bedding down, eating some of this grass. And of course, Leesky and them has been over there in that pen, so they couldn't get over here to chase them off. And like I always say, them, the wildlife kind of help spread the ticks around, not a good thing. Well, it's just, we have several. You can see everybody is enjoying themselves. They got tons of food over here. And the chickens don't get over here. So. No, not very much. They do get in the compost pile some. Leesky's yeah. way over there. That's He's, about as far as they go. Leesky's doing check, scouting an area for him. He's been doing it all day. So you can see all this beautiful grass. We got clover everywhere. Um, here in a few days, they're going to be eating a bunch of leaves off these trees. So now we will probably, well, I know, <clears throat> not probably, we won't be feeding them any grain anymore. And right now, grain and feed is super expensive. So they this is going to so help us today, out. They didn't want any. <laughs> yeah, they were just gorging themselves. They, as soon as we opened the gate, I don't think we recorded right when we opened the gate. It was just like, you could just hear them just crunching the grass, ripping it out of the ground. And, Cora and Leesky, they even started eating grass for some reason. They said, oh, they seen the goats doing it. it. What's wrong? She got yeah. in the pond today, too. Yeah, she got in the pond. Leesky got in the pond. The ducks got in the Leesky's pond. Leesky's been in the pond several times today. He got in the water Keep your ears clean. trough. Yeah, Rachel filled the water trough up and he got in it. He cleaned it out and filled it up. And he was like, oh, clean. I loosened her collar yesterday because she's been growing so fast. I didn't want it to be too tight. Yeah, pretty good girl. So anyway, that's pretty much our story today. We just wanted to share it with you guys. We had no intention of actually filming or making a video today, but this is a big step, especially for Leesky and Miss Cora. Right, Cora? Right? Yep. So anyways. Oh, I'm itchy. <laughs> um, what we're, we are going to do, since the dogs are not trained with the ducks, we're gonna come out here tonight. We're gonna to catch a couple of those ducks. We're probably not gonna film it. And we're gonna take two of them, at least two of them, and put them over in the Pico pen. Just because we know Mojo isn't gonna harm them. And then if for some reason the dogs do get after the ducks and get rid of them, then uh, we'll have we'll have extras on the Pico pen and then we'll have to do some more training with She's the dogs. She's like, I'm modeling yep she's look how pretty i am oh you're a pretty oh, girl oh yep. there's a pretty girl you a model there's a pretty girl cora you're girl. such a good girl <laughs> so you got you if you've been following us you guys know we got the six female ducklings in the shop in the brooder and then as soon as they're big enough we hope to introduce them to the, the males which we had already 
kind of planned on downsizing on the males because male ducks are very aggressive so you only need like one or two per five or six female and we got five so we want to keep two just to always have right. a backup you know what i'm saying so while and we're those training Cayuga these key, ducks are hard to find yeah we we've been looking for the females for over a year i've, I've actually been kind of looking here locally for like a uh, mean african goose to put over here on the pond to help train our dogs because the fleece key goes does go after one of those geese a lot of times those african geese will they'll, they'll chase them back they're pretty mean i used to have a couple when i was uh, living at home with mom and dad when i was dating her i didn't like them no they were mean she would come over wearing flip-flops have her nails all painted up and they would go after her biting her toenails remember that yeah that's but hard to forget it is a beautiful day here it's nice temperature it's a good day to get them out here on the grass now they've got a smorgasbord buffet for days or weeks or months they'll never eat all this up uh, usually what happens is this stays green and they eat all they want all year long but then the summertime comes and when it kind of slows down raining and the temperatures get real high then it kind of slows down but then they have like some other types of grasses and stuff they're gonna be but happy i don't know where leesky went he must be exploring by himself all all day long that they've been out here been kind of sneaking around and watching him and cora and cora's been with leesky step by step what did he leave you she's biting her tail she's What's got, wrong? i want to bite my tail of ditches she's got a dick huh what a dick doubt it huh? but you can see some of the goats are coming up on the trees reaching up as high as they can get I don't think L will want to get out now. No, nope. L probably will not want to get out now. He I'm not putting out. it past him though. No, but he could have got out this whole time. Yeah, he just he and just he just didn't really realize. Right. He started getting a little nibble of that sweet tree leaves off the oak trees and everything on the other side of the fence, and he realized that he could jump it, and that's what he did. Well, and you see, Mr. Leesky. No, he doesn't took off. I don't see him either. He's exploring. I don't see him. He might have found a rab rabbit or something. Well, yeah, I'm I don't telling. see him. He's way I over there he's in the just corner. Exploring. I hear blue jays. Oh, there they are. They're just there's a whole bunch of them blue jays. I love watching and hearing the blue jays, but they're super mean to other birds. But they're really pretty and they sound pretty when they sing. It's weird that they're in a whole flock like that. I guess it's normal. I don't know. <clears throat> so we're just kind of out here spending the evening. We already had dinner. Just kind of coming out here checking on everybody and enjoying the nice weather. The wind isn't crazy today. This is the first nice day we've had in a while. When I was supposed to clean today. <laughs> You're supposed to clean every day. Well, I was right? really going to clean today. Like, so, and I've been outside all day. And then whenever I got, I had to work today. Whenever I, I got off work, I had dad meet me at the house. And if you guys remember last year on our other YouTube channel, Untamed Outdoors, which we haven't posted on since last fall, um, we put a bigger motor on our fishing boat. And uh, dad and I, after I got off work today, we took that out today and ran it because we haven't ran it since we put it on there and tested it out a little bit and it ran good. So now we'll be able to take the kids fishing. Hopefully we can do some jug fishing or something here pretty quick and catch some catfish. I'm waiting. Can't wait. I want to fill the freezer back up. The kids, <clears throat> kids love to. We fish. all love fishing. Yeah, but they especially, they love it. Yeah, it's just nice to get to get out. And we live here and we have a, you know, we live really local to a lake, a nice big lake. Lake Hudson. And it's good for fishing and, you know, we're right here. So why not enjoy it? What's she find? I don't know. It's like a little bug. She's chasing a little bug around. I just love, I could sit out here all day and watch all the animals. Watch all the animals, listen to all the birds. Kaya's already been out here with her net trying to catch butterflies. Butterflies and Caleb oh, was out. That, that goat found a limb she could reach. So it's been nice. Leesky! I don't either. Leesky! <whistles> Mom boy! The goat said, we'll come. Look, they yeah, they'll come. come. If they come in the barn, I'm going to go ahead and lock them up since the sun's going down. You guys, we didn't say goat. 
They come and don't yell. They said, you got a feed bucket? We'll come anytime. I don't have one, but I don't see Mr. Leesky. He must have found something good. Hill's like looking at all the trees. Yeah, he's like, which one of you am I going to eat first? Got him. Now he's scratching with his long horns. To go back to your... We talked about... Um, how do you keep goats in? We just don't keep goats that jump the fence. Yep. If L continues to jump the fence, we'll call him. We'll sell him. Well, it's time for new blood anyways with him. It is, so. but I'm just saying in any instance... If you don't he, want bad habits. If Yes, because when you have one that does it, the rest of them learn that from him. How many years ago when we had a herd and it was like one or two of them that kept jumping? That was like when we bought these Kikos. That and buck was huge. We uh we got rid of the ones that was jumping out. That was actually instigating the jumping yep. out. Because these the other goats behavior. watch him and then they would do it too. And then so, they, they picked up the bad habits. Yep. We had a battle or something going on over here. Where? I don't know. These goats were staring at each other. Oh, right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they feel really good. They're teenagers. They have all this room. They're the excited. bellies are full. That one little. Um, Look at them. They're going. They're still going to town, and they've been out here all day. One of the little bucks. I was getting tickled that earlier because I mean he was just a jumping and a running. What are you guys looking at? That one's getting a milkshake. <laughs> little baby. It's not a little baby anymore. No, nope, not at all. Leesky! All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I was going to say it's a short little video, but I don't know how short it is because I don't know how much she already recorded, and I've been recording for 15 minutes. So. I don't know. I don't keep time very well. I just eh, It is what it is. Um, thank you guys so much for the support and love. We love you guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe down below. Leave us a comment. I know the goats are super happy they finally got Follow on Follow us on the Facebook. Field. Follow us on Facebook, like this video, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Whiskey man! Oh, where is that? Ginger, where's Leesky? We better go find him. Look at them birds. Here comes Mr. Leesky, way back there. Which baby? Oh, the one that's bigger than his mama? <laughs> we just thought we were in in the video. Leesky! Come on, Bella! Oh, poor, so adorable. He said I was just. He's doing exploring. his job. He's Mark, got his tongue hanging out. He's thirsty. Marking his territory, protecting the boundaries. Oh, here he comes! Oh, big dog! What big are dog! You doing? Good boy! Good boy! Yeah! Good boy! You didn't eat no rotten egg, did you? <laughs> yes, you're huge. I know. You've given each other. She likes to bite his tail sometimes. Tricked you. It's a dog pile. <laughs> oh, he just sat on her. <laughs> You're so rude.